At its Unpacked event in New York this year, Samsung rolled out the latest version of its Note smartphone, the Note 10, the Note 10 Plus that I have here, and the 10 Plus 5G. Now, Samsung made a pitch to ZDNet, Tech Republic, and other business sites that this is the phone that remote workers or co-workers um, really want to look at in terms of a device that they can use both for work and for personal use. And they really pitched to us four areas that are important with remote workers and business users. Design, productivity, creativity, and performance. And I really want to see if this device and the few accessories I have here, maybe headphones, the charger, and a USB-C cable, can replace all of this which is everything that I carry with me when I travel or when I work remotely. So let's get to it and let's talk about design and performance. So now the Note 10 has a 6.3 inch screen. Now this is the same as the Note 9, but it's on a much smaller frame. It's actually the slimmest and the lightest Note device uh, Samsung has ever made. Now, when it comes to the phone that I have here, the Note 10 Plus and the Note 10 Plus 5G, they have a 6.8 inch screen and it's still thinner than the Note 9. The Samsung designed the screen to be what they call distraction free and to allow users to focus on the task at hand and not apps running in the background. It has a, what they're calling an infinity O display, which is a screen that runs from edge to edge. They move the front camera into the center of the device. Now, this screen is a dynamic AMOLED display. On the Note 9, it was about 710 nits. On the 10, we're talking about 800 to 1200 nits. Um, this is really good when we're talking about people working in direct sunlight, uh, especially for people in the field. Obviously, the screen is really bright. It looks really good. You're going to be able to do all the work that you need to with the screen. Um, it does have curved edges along the side. Not too nuts about that because I find that I end up touching the screen and activating the side panel um, when I don't necessarily want to. Um, I also, one of the things that I don't like about the uh, Note 10 Plus here is that it comes with a screen protector uh, attached to the front of uh, the glass. Um, this is... Uh, I asked Samsung if this was the same as the screen protector that comes on the Fold. Uh, if you'll remember back, a lot of reporters who got early, uh, early um, review units of the Fold actually were damaging the screens by removing this protector. And I asked Samsung if I could remove the protector on the Note 10. They said I could. Um, it's just something that they put on um, by default, and it shouldn't damage the phone uh, if I want to take it off. I, I don't like it uh, because as I move my finger across the edge here, it actually feels like um, the screen is broken. It, it feels like my, my finger is rubbing across um, a hard edge, uh, and the screen isn't completely smooth, and that, that, that kind of bothers me. Now, when it comes to cameras, um, the Note 10, 10 Plus, and 10 Plus 5G have you pretty well covered, right? Um, on the front, there's a 10 megapixel um, front-facing camera uh, for those video chats. And on the back, there of the 10 Plus and 10 Plus 5G, uh, there are four camera lenses. Uh, the Note 10 has three. Here on the uh, 10 Plus, we have a 16 megapixel main camera lens, a 12 megapixel wide angle lens, and a 12 megapixel um, telephoto lens. Uh, and that's where things end for the regular 10. On the 10 Plus and 10 Plus 5G, you also get what's called a depth vision camera, or it's a time of flight camera, basically. And it allows you to measure distances on objects that you take photos of using the camera here, which also allows you to do some really interesting things like create 3D models of objects. Now that we've talked about the outside of the Note 10, let's go into the inside. The Note 10 has a seven nanometer application processor. In the US, that's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, and in Korea, it's an Exynos processor. Now, according to Samsung, these processors are 33% faster uh, when it comes to the CPU than the Note 9, and 42% faster on the GPU uh, than the Note 9, also providing better battery life than the Note 9. 
When it comes to RAM, we're talking about 8 gigs for the 10 and 12 gigs for the 10 Plus and Plus 5G. For storage, we're talking about 256 gigs for the 10 and 512 gigs for the 10 Plus and again, the Plus 5G. On the 10 Plus and Plus 5G versions, you can also use a micro SD card. Uh, and if you get a 512 gig uh, card, you can increase the storage to one terabyte on a device. When it comes to batteries, the 10 has a 3500 milliamp hour battery and the 10 Plus and 10 Plus 5G have 4300 milliamp hour batteries, which are absolute beasts. Um, this thing should definitely last you most, if not the whole day. Now, the phone comes with a 25 watt charger, um, but you can buy a 45 watt charger separately, and this provides super fast charging. So, Samsung claims that with just 30 minutes, it can give you enough charge to last a whole day, and you can get a full battery charge in 77 minutes. There's also a 15 watt wireless charger that you can use if you don't like cords. Now that I've talked about design and performance, let's talk a little bit about creativity. Now, the Note 10, 10 Plus, and 10 Plus 5G definitely have the hardware and features that most creatives will like, right? It's got really great cameras. It's got plenty of hardware uh, oomph uh, in its RAM, storage, and the processor to do most of the things you're gonna wanna do. Is it gonna replace a high-end video editing machine? Probably not. Is it gonna replace a DSLR or a high-end 4K video camera for field use? Probably not. But is it good enough for most professionals to perform creative tasks on? Yes, it is. Now let's talk about the most important category of features for business users, which is productivity. And what Samsung really pitched to us was that the Note 10 could be used to replace a lot of the devices that people carry with them, especially field workers or co-workers or remote workers. This is the one device they could take with them instead of all the other stuff they normally travel with. Now, as someone who travels a lot for work, I wanted to put that to the test, and so I've been using the phone for the last week or so and trying to replace a lot of the stuff I carry with me when I travel, which is all of this stuff, and seeing if I can use the Note instead of it. So before we do that, let's see what I actually have in here. One, of course, we have a, uh, a MacBook Air that we use as my main, that I use as my main laptop. What else? Um, I have a lot of accessories to go with this device here. This is um, a Sony mirrorless camera that we use to shoot a lot of, uh, that I use to shoot a lot of the footage when I travel of devices like the Note 10. I actually use this camera at Samsung Unpacked. Um, I have a handy notebook to take notes with uh, when I don't use the laptop. I'm thinking maybe the S Pen on the Note 10 could help with that. Um, got a spare uh, battery in there for those really long plane flights. Have power cables, of course, for my laptop and all kinds of devices in there. Have a, an Am Amazon, this is a Kindle Oasis that I use to read uh, books on because I just don't like reading on phones or uh, tablets or my laptop. And then I have um, actually my personal phone. Um, this is an iPhone uh, 10XS. Um, so is it possible to use the Note 10 to replace all these different devices that people you know, travel with? So the answer is maybe, right? If you're a photographer, if you're a videographer, even if you're just a YouTube creator, um, if you're a graphic artist, if you're capturing footage in the field, then you're probably still gonna wanna use your trusty DSLR, a mirrorless camera, um, a high-end video camera. Why? Um, because uh, number one, you can change lenses. And the sensors in these are really good. Um, they're a lot more versatile. And if this is your business, you know, you may do quick things with uh, the camera on your smartphone, but more than likely you're still gonna need to carry this with you. So 
that's the camera, but maybe you're not in that situation. Maybe you're in sales or maybe you're a field worker and you don't need to take a camera. So that's fine. Um, what about um, an e-reader or something like that that you travel with? If, if you like to read books uh, on your phone, then certainly you don't need to take that with you. So this is just kind of a something that, you know, nice to have on my part because it hurts my eyes to read things on phone screens. So that brings us to the most important device on this table, and that's the laptop. And this is where Samsung is really aiming the Note 10. For people who travel, for people who work remotely, can they use the Note 10 to replace their laptop? And in my experience, after using the device uh, for about a week, that's a maybe. It really depends on what you're going to do with your laptop when you travel. For example, the Note 10 um, as its name implies, and like all the Note devices, is really designed around the S Pen. And for the um, Note 10, it's a newly designed unibody S Pen uh, with some new features that I'll talk about in a minute. It allows you to take notes uh, through handwriting or uh, through regular keyboard on the Note like I would with my notepad. Now, how does it work in practice? It works pretty well. Um, for the Note 10, it has handwriting recognition, which actually works fairly well, except sometimes it confuses my A's with O's and vice versa. It just must be my version of cursive it doesn't like. My only problem with taking notes on the Note here is that it feels diff it's hard to rest my hand on the device and then take notes. Um, it, it's like I need a case to hold to rest my hand on. Um, the other thing is, again, the cost of a smartphone and dropping this as I'm quickly trying to jot down notes is a lot higher than this. So if I drop this on the floor, it doesn't really cost anything. If I drop this, we're talking about $1,000. Now, talking about going back to the S Pen for a little bit, this is also one of the devices that has some new features for the uh, Note 10. It's a new unibody design, and it has what's called air gestures, which allows you to control the phone with this, this device. Now, some of the things that they showed off were being able to switch through the camera modes by swiping the pen. Um, also, you can change the zoom. You can zoom in and zoom out by uh, swirling the pen. I could never get that to work, no matter how hard I tried. Um, you can also uh, perform actions within other apps like Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, you can switch sides by clicking the button on the pen. That's really handy. Um, it works just like a clicker. So if you had a PowerPoint presentation, you could carry this to a meeting and you could deliver the presentation. Just remember, um, it only has USB-C on the bottom, so you're going to need a dongle to actually probably connect it up to the television or to the projector that's in the meeting room, right? Here I'm actually using um, an Apple dongle uh, to project the PowerPoint presentation on the screen. So one of the ways that the Note 10 is designed to replace your desktop is through Samsung's desktop environment, or DeX. Um, here I actually have the Note 10 connected to uh, one of the TVs in our studio here. And I'm using uh, an Apple um, dongle, actually, and an HDMI cable, um, and I'm running DeX uh, just on the PC, or on the TV, and I can use the screen the, the, on the uh, Note 10 like the mouse. And I can go over and I can launch applications like web browser um, directly from uh, directly from the phone. So that's that's pretty handy. I can do a screen mirroring. Um, I can you know deliver again a PowerPoint presentation and use the S Pen to flick through that um, using the phone. Uh, so that that's pretty handy. Um, if you're you know, working remotely, if you're traveling uh, and you, you have a screen you need to connect to um, and you can use a, you can tie a keyboard to this, uh, you could tie uh, Bluetooth, other Bluetooth devices to this. So it's pretty handy like that. Now what's new for the Note 10 is also DeX on uh, your laptop. So either a Windows 10 PC or a, um, a Mac OS, uh, an Apple laptop here, you can actually run uh, DeX off the phone uh, through the laptop. 
Well, you do have to have an application that runs on the Windows or the Mac, uh, and this basically creates a VDA. It's basically just a portal from the phone into your desktop. Again, it's pretty handy um, if, you, if you need to do that. Now, the thing is, again, if you were gonna do that when you're traveling, you're still taking your laptop, so um, that doesn't really save you any weight. But let's say you were a, um, a regional manager, a district manager, and you travel from store to store, and you, you, you go to one store and you wanna use one of the local machines there, um, you could connect your um, uh, Note 10 to that machine via a USB-C um, to USB or USB-C to USB-C cable, and you could work off of your phone with all your files, with all your settings, um, with your network connections, directly from that guest uh, laptop. So that's kind of cool. So can the device replace your laptop? Well, that's a little harder to answer uh, because it really depends on your individual use case or how your organization plans to use the devices. If you have field workers, if you have remote workers who really can benefit from an ultra mobile device, who aren't reliant on a large screen and a keyboard when either they're in the field or doing most of their work, then yeah, this device works really well. For someone like me though, who writes for a living, um, I like a physical keyboard. I like a larger note-taking surface uh, than the phone. Uh, so it's, it's not a replacement yet for me, but it could be for you. And if you're already a fan of the Note line, you probably know that. So final judgment on the Note 10 when it comes to business users is it's a really solid phone. It's not revolutionary, but it's also probably the closest thing yet we have to a mobile phone that can replace your laptop when you travel.